Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. Many people always think that I'm on the hammock drinking juice, why don't I do anything? Why don't I take action? It's interesting how easy it is for you to criticize me, criticize this speaker, talk a lot of nonsense, without knowing what's happening on the other side. Time passes and you don't change. Patience and trust are virtues that are very difficult to find. You want everything in your own time. You want everything the way you think. No one here is sleeping. We are always working, fulfilling the mission that was assigned to us by God the Father or Mother. Yes, I also have missions. I wasn't created to just wander around this universe. My duties are immense. But I always find time to be here with you, to bring a message, to bring a warning. I would like you to calm your hearts and understand that everything is in its right time. You are anxious to see with your own eyes everything we have said. But I can assure you that you will not like what you see. So, why rush? Why despair? Everything will happen in its right time. In the time already planned, in each timeline that you are following. Do not worry about what will happen around you. Worry about your own path. Worry about the way you see life, the way you position yourself. There is still much to learn. So it is important that each one takes care of their path, that each one makes it as bright as possible. How? By planting light now, to reap light in the future. Do not forget that you are still planting. Nothing is over. The process of your life continues. So each wrong feeling is being planted and will be welcomed in the future. Nothing has changed. It is just that events are accelerating. It does not take another life to return or several lives. It will be the same and it may be tomorrow. So, let's stop worrying about what will happen. Let's worry about the here and now, about what you are doing right now. What are you contributing to everything, both positively and negatively? How do you contribute? Are you concerned about the planet and how do you contribute to the planet? What do you do to improve the planet? Have you ever asked yourself this? Do you do everything right? Do you not harm the planet in any way? Be careful with your statements, because you continue to harm the planet. Everyone. With the way you live. With the way you eat. With excessive spending. You continue. No one goes unpunished. So stop judging what you don't know. Stop commenting, judging, talking about others. Forget about others. Stop gossiping. Look at your own paths, forget about others. And if someone else comments on your walk, don't respond, don't complain. It was him who commented, so whose problem is it? His. If you feel the need to respond, is it your ego talking? No, don't stay quiet. Respond. This is wrong. If you want to appease your ego, don't care about anything that is said to you or about you. Let it go. The person who criticized you will receive their own criticism back. And nothing shakes them. If you respond, you enter their energy. And it becomes a vicious circle, because they will want to respond to you too. So stop, my brothers. Stop always wanting to be right. If someone comments something about you, don't care, let it go. This is how you break the cycle. Because if you respond, you are feeding that cycle. Stop listening to other people's words. Listen only to what will bring you peace and tranquility. As for the rest, be selective in what you listen to. Learn, my brothers. This is the path to the fifth dimension. It is not easy. It is demanding, very demanding. So, follow your own path. Forget the comments. Forget what people say about you. Each one should bite his or her tongue. Continue your own path. Know how to live with others, but without caring about what is said, about or to you. The path is yours. So continue your path. Today I am coming here to make a great invitation. The one who is speaking to you asked me to do something so that everyone can help the planet. No, she is not on the net, nor drinking juice. 
she thinks a lot. So we are going to do something very interesting. A mandala has been created. So, from now on, pay attention to what will be said, so that you do not keep asking what is being said. This mandala will be available tonight. She will make a statement to you tonight. And she will pass on the mandala. And what should you do with this mandala? You. Pay attention to what I have told you. I didn't say you. I said you. So it will be in your time, in your place, at your desire, at the time you want. You will take this mandala in your hands, place your right hand on it, and donate your energy to Gaia for five minutes. Attention. Five minutes. If you have a technique, if you are initiated in techniques, don't worry, the energy that passes through you will reach your hand and go to the planet. You don't need to use any technique. It is important that it is the energy of each person that comes mixed with the techniques that you have, so five minutes. How many times can you do it per day? As many as you want. But it is not about spending the day with your hand on the mandala. At most, you will do it five times per day, at most. But if you do it just once, it is wonderful. Note that the mandala has a light code. So, this light code amplifies the energy that you will be emanating and passes it on to the planet. And we, in turn, amplify even more the energy that you will be emanating. So I don't want meetings, I don't want groups, I don't want set times. Everyone will do it in their own time, at the time that they want. Just stop and place your right hand on the mandala. Ah, but I'm left-handed. The right hand on the mandala. I don't think there's any reason to doubt it. Wait until evening and you'll receive the mandala. It will be available to everyone. Don't worry about where you are going to print it. It can be on the simplest paper you have. What matters is the mandala, not the paper it's on. So, let each one of you do your best. And you'll be helping the planet, you'll be helping yourselves, to counterbalance all the negative energy that's being created. That's what's important. And don't think we're not doing anything. We work all the time. But any action that comes from you carries much more weight. Why? Because of your free will, because of what's going on in your hearts. Doing something based on your decision is magnificent, it has immense power, because it originated in the heart of each one of you. That's what makes the difference. Because it eliminates, and a lot the energy generated by your dark brothers. That really makes a big difference. So, my brothers, that's it, a help. And for how long will you do it? As long as you want. There is no definition. Do you have to do it every day? No, that's not it. It will be up to each person's heart. It will be as long as your heart asks. And it is important that each person does their own thing. Don't keep changing. Oh, I do it 30 times. No, I do it 50, no, I do it 100. Everyone does their own thing. You don't need to publish it. You don't need to say what you are doing. That is ego. So, each person does their part, for themselves. You don't need to comment. You don't need to expose what is being done. Each person has to do what their heart asks. No, you need to know what the other person is doing so you can do the same or better than them. Because that is what you do. So each person does their part, without comment. I am doing my part and that is it. You don't need to say what you are doing or how you are doing it. Learn not to expose your lives. Keep your mouth shut. You talk too much. You expose yourself too much, unnecessarily because your ego is still huge. You need to show off, you need to expose yourself, you need to show what you're doing. Yes, my brothers, you still have a long way to go. The learning so far often seems to me to be worthless. But each one will learn in their own time. Because they will need to learn. Do you really want to go to the fifth dimension? Then learn. Start changing and you will see how everything in your own journey will start to change too.